My name's Tina Bridge. I'm here at the beautiful Alec Horse Centre in uh, Tamworth at the National Show, Stock Horse Show. And my job was to judge the hack section of the maturity for the four-year-olds. Uh, the the four-year-olds uh, are in ongoing process. Their next event next year, as they mature, they'll go into the open section. Uh, so they're still evolving. I was looking for, this morning, um, horses that displayed good manners, good trainability, relaxed attitude and obedience to the bridle. We're now going to have a look at some of my top selections as to uh, what elements and, and how they perform their task. This particular pattern, you know, being a hack section, requires the, the overall beauty and travel of the horse. In the first element, the horse has to leave the judge at a trot, perform a, cir a, a, a circle, at, or half circle, three quarter circle, at the trot, and the judge is looking for rhythm, movement, moving forward, and a good shape to the horse, that his head is in the rider's hands neatly, which this horse is performing, and that he bends his circle well. Across the diagonal this horse is going now and his element is to show a length of stride at the trot. So it's, a, it, it's not a faster trot, it's a more um, longer trot and more powerful trot. Then he picks up the canter to the right. The judge again is looking for a horse to make his bend with good shape through the circle and perform a flying change. Now that, this little horse was just a little bit shocked by that and threw his head in the air. Um, he did negotiate the flying change, meaning change from one leg to the other whilst in motion. But he would lose points for uh, throwing his head in the air. That's called resistance and, uh, and it's marked down. When he passed the judge, he, he was asked to strengthen the canter, really move along and show the uh, obedience to come down from a faster canter back into a trot without resistance. From there, he trots straight down towards the judge and again, without resistance, break into a nice, easy walk with a light contact, um, without showing uh, tension, uh, bad manners by jig jogging, etc. and so forth. So this horse, um, you know, performed the task reasonably well. This horse again performs the same thing, trots away from the judge. This horse is a little more tense in that, that particular element than the first horse, but now is starting to relax. He has nice shape, he's got a good rhythm, his head is in a, in a, in a good position, meaning not too down on his chest, and more importantly, not stuck up in the air, resisting the, resisting the rider. Um, a hack should use as much ground as is allocated. Uh, showing that he's, he's not going to cheat his rider. He, he wants to perform under his rider exactly where the rider rides him. Uh, again, showing a reasonable element of length of, length of trot. Um, not quite as much uh, expression as what, I, uh, 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 as what you would prefer. But again, covering his ground well in the canter, coming up with his flying change, which is the, the marker is there. We want it as close to the marker. That was nice and smooth, he never threw his head in the air and he remained on a straight line. So he didn't throw his body uh, to get that other lead. He actually pushed his legs through. Now this horse is really showing me a good hand gallop, uh, plenty of pace, plenty of power. And this is where it will make or break as to whether he's obedient to come back to the rider, down through his transition without resistance, which he did. Um, so this is quite a nice job. Uh, and then again, just a nice step into the walk, right on the mark. And again, relaxed, not tense, not jig jogging, um, no, no resistance at all. Quite a good job. Uh, and very much showing, uh, because he didn't throw his head up in the flying chain, you know, this, this horse would have scored slightly better. And the hack is judged on style and, and, and obedience, um, trainability. And this horse here is, uh, again, quite, not quite so uh, uh, up and round in his frame or flamboyant, but good even stride, heads in a, in a good position, moving out nicely, 
going forward without being tense and your length of stride and you're seeing more expression in the in the movement in the horse's front legs here he's really sort of what we call poking the toe he's pointing the toe his toe should actually exceed the limit of his nose in a length of stride if his toes land short of the uh, of his nose he hasn't lengthened the stride he's come to his flying change which again, a little bit of a tail swish, a little bit what we call late behind, meaning he changed his front legs before he changed his back legs. So yes, he wouldn't have scored top points for that, but he stayed straight. And the frame and the bend of the circle, this is quite a good shot when he came in there to show you that he's actually the shape of the circle. He doesn't go straight because he's on a bender all the time. And here's his downward transition. This is a very, very vital part, that whole um, tour is of the of the strong canter into the transition and as he comes down into his transition he should just drop what we call drop into it and and um, not not resist by by throwing his head in the air the rider if the rider pulls the reins too hard that will often make the horse um, jam his head against the bridle old adage goes rider pulls horse will pull um, so it's a, a communication thing between the horse and the rider um, to understand that when the rider slows down, the horse should just want to slow down in tempo with the rider. Um, is it, this horse is, is um, I know this is for, uh, this horse is four year old, he's, he's a grey horse, he will eventually one day go white. Um, he, any criticism of this horse was that he, he, he just carries his head probably just a little bit low, but he's very what we call stable in the bridle and he's stable in the contact of the hand of the rider without pulling or, or resisting. Um, reasonably good length of strut, probably not as good as the horse before, but kept a good rhythm through. And yet again, using his ground well, up for his fly, which was almost effortless. And you know, the, the, the person that, that doesn't know anything about horses would probably even miss that he'd even done that because he just, Carried it through with absolutely no body movement at all. The only thing I think that did was he wagged his tail a little bit. But it wasn't a resistance wag, it was just, it helps him get his thrust. This is smoothly around, drops into his trot. Head has not come out of that position the whole tour. So, you know, that that is what scores points. It shows this horse is in completely in sync with the rider. He's not focused on anything else around him, his surroundings, other than the rider. And that's what makes um, you know, a good hack, that that, that hack is, is, uh, is so in tune and in sync with his rider and obedient.